the audio decibel meters or the music equalizers or the UV meters are been most widely used in electronics musical systems. So in the first part of this music visualization series, I'll be showing you how easy it is to build one of those music decibel meters by using an Arduino microcontroller. So let's get started. The parts needed for this build are quite a few. I'll be using an Arduino Mega, a breadboard, a copper dot PCB, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, a few jumper wires and some LEDs. I'll be using red, green and blue ones. Before constructing anything on the PCB directly, it's better to test everything on the breadboard. So I'll be inserting the LEDs on the breadboard and the ground of the LEDs will go to a common ground layer so that they can form a common ground there. And now we can connect the Arduino's ground pin to the breadboard's ground. The wiring part is quite simple because we are going to use the digital pin of the Arduino directly to the LEDs. The pins which I have used are from pin number 22 till the pin number 41. All the pins of the Arduino follows the same way as from the digital output pin to the LEDs positive. The wiring part may look confusing but as always you can find all the parts list and better circuit diagram in the description below. And now we are going to use a pod to adjust the sensitivity of the gain meter. The wiring for the potentiometer is the first and the third pin will go to the plus 5 volt and ground and the center pin of the potentiometer will go to the analog input A1 of the Arduino. The next thing we need is an audio source which we can find from an aux cable and we'll be using an audio splitter so that we can hear as well as we can visualize the music. From the aux cable the left channel will go to the A0 and the ground will go to the ground. And now this is the time to connect the Arduino to the PC by using the A to B cable. The program is quite easy and understandable but still if you have doubts you can always ask in the comment section. And now we are going to upload the code and test it. After the complete test of the circuit on the breadboard, we are going to make it more permanent by using the copper dot PCB. We will begin by inserting the LEDs on the PCB and making sure all the negative leg sides are at one side and all the positive legs are on the other side. It will help later for the soldering purpose. After inserting all the LEDs, my PCB looks like this. After that is done, we can start bending the positive legs of the LEDs directly on the PCB that will help later for the soldering purpose. Once all the legs of the LEDs are bent in the right manner, we can start the soldering process by using the soldering iron. All the positive legs of the LEDs are going to be left open because they are going to be connected with the digital input output pins of the Arduino microcontroller. The positive legs on my PCB looks like this. Now we can start bending the negative legs of the LEDs. Start by bending the first LED, then leave 2 or 3, then again bend the LEDs as shown here. After that is done, we are going to create a common ground rail from which all the LEDs ground should be connected. Make sure you do not short circuit anything. Now we are going to use these male header pins and we are going to insert it directly to the Arduino Mega. A few of those will be used in the analog input output pins and a few of those will be for the support. Now press the Arduino on the PCB and make sure all the pins have correct way and solder them together. Once the soldering process for all the header pins has been completed, we can start wiring as we have done on the breadboard. Starting from pin number 22 of the Arduino and ending at pin number 41 of the Arduino, 
are being directly used to light up the LEDs as the dB meter will always do. All the information about this project can be found out on my Insectables page whose link is in the description below. Now we can insert the potentiometer as well as the audio jack to visualize the music. The wiring is exactly the same as the channel pin will go to the A0 and the potentiometer center pin will go to the A1. Once the wiring part is done we can secure everything in the place by using the hot glue so that the parts doesn't move here and there. Now we can plug the Arduino to the PC and enjoy the show. So thanks for watching the video, like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.